as in the previous video I have already covered the exception handling where we have handled some types of predefined exceptions. Now in this particular video we are going to create our custom exceptions that may be particular to your specific application and we'll see how to handle that. So let's go practically and see how to create a custom exceptions now. Now let's see if you want to create your own custom exception how can we do that. So for doing that let's add one more class in your project just right click in your project name come to add and add a class. Let's name it my custom exception alright and as soon as I'll get that let's inherit it from the exception class. So any class getting derived from this exception can be thrown and you can raise the exception whenever you want. And after creating this my custom exception class I have defined some constructors which are already present in this exception class. This is base class alright. So I'll just define the constructors here and in that I'll call the base constructor. Now let's see how we can uh, raise this exception like earlier. Here I say like whenever num1 is 0 I'll raise my custom exception with a particular message like number cannot be 0. Alright so let's execute this and as soon as I'll put a 0 in the first number alright tutorials for GUI my custom exception number cannot be 0. So this is the message which I just passed in my custom exception from here in this constructor. So this is how you can go through the exception handling in C sharp. 